All right, here we have the formula for direct variation. It is y equals kx. Or if we spread it out, y equals k times x. Now, you need to understand that k represents the constant and the y and x represent the variables. Now, one of them, the x, represents what is called the independent variable and the y represents what is called the dependent variable. Now to illustrate this we're going to go back to our example where we had the fruit. The constant was two dollars per kilo, the cost per kilogram of the fruit and we would multiply that by the amount of kilograms we purchased, right? Whether you buy three kilograms or four kilograms. And then once you multiply them two together, that gave you the total cost for the fruit that you purchased. Now let's think about this. Independent is like your adults. They are independent. They get to make choices. Dependent are your young children. They are dependent upon adults. Adults make choices for the children. The amount of kilograms you buy is independent because you get to choose how many kilograms of fruit you would like to buy. The total cost is dependent because it depends on how many kilograms of fruit you buy as to what the cost will be, which is why we call it dependent. It is dependent on the independent variable. 